is the commercial area. So this is Abu Dhabi Global Market Square. That's the four season. This is Rosewood. They're building one of the nice indoor ski area here. Yeah. You can ski when outside is uh, 50 degrees. 48, not 50, please. <laughs> 48, okay. <laughs> Really in Manhattan. Manhattan in the desert. Manhattan on the island. Between Abu Dhabi to Erzeliya, between Galabia to Khalifa, take you to Muhammad El Khaja, Shagrir the Emirates in Israel. Shalom and Ahlan and Hala Hala. That's the way you say it. Shalom, Shalom. This is your first TV interview. Yes, and with Israeli channels. So may God be with me today. I hope I'm in good hands with you, Danny. השגריר מציין בדיוק שנה בישראל, שגריר ערבי קצת אחר מהמעטים שהכרנו. וזה זמן טוב לברר איתו איך אנחנו נראים בעיניים אמירתיות. Let me begin with the Israeli question. What has surprised you the most in us, in Israel? The most thing that got me is how warm the Israelis have been since I got here. For us, uh, this is like a new planet. Of course, I've read a lot about Israel. I had some Israeli friends back in college, but I couldn't imagine uh, this, uh, meaning how settled and normal things are here. You went to football also in Israel? Yes, it was one of the most amazing experience. Which game? Uh, it was Maccabi. Tel Aviv and uh, the fans, I mean, they were like the, what they call them in, in Britain, the hooligans, or <laughs> it was fascinating. I was watching the fans more than I was watching football. Maybe you'll find a, a buyer to Beitar Yerushalayim, you know. Uh, as a policy, as a country, we don't uh, engage in domestic politics. And I know how sensitive it could get, and uh, I'd rather stay out of that. למגרש הסוער אצלנו, למגרש הביתי של אל חג'ה, על החוף השקט והיוקרתי, באבו דאבי. Before it was just sand here. It was just sand. I remember once I got stuck here in my boat and somebody had to get me because it was remote island. So uh, to see how this place evolved and developed, it's, uh, it's beautiful. And uh, it all starts with a vision. Uh, I think this is a bit the story of uh, the Emirates. Yes, we were blessed with oil and and it's not only about building the city, but also how do we make it sustainable for generations to come. I mean, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> במידה רבה הסיפור של האמירויות הוא גם הסיפור האישי של אל חג'ה. הוא בן 41, נשוי אב לארבעה, בן לאחת משלוש נשים שהביאו לאביו 16 אחים ואחיות. אל חג'ה נולד בדיוק על קו התפר שבו הפכה האמירות ממדינת מדבר ענייה לארץ נפט עשירה, מה שאפשר לשלוח אותו ללימודים באוניברסיטאות הכי יוקרתיות בארצות הברית ובאירופה. was able to study only to fourth grade. My mother, same thing. Uh, I think wow. she did until third grade because they had no access to education. And you went to two universities, right? Yes, I, I well, <laughs> Baruch Hashem. Uh, <laughs> I studied uh, in Boston for my undergrads and uh, master's in Vienna. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a blessing to think about it this way. So we, we are actually the first generation of college graduates. And they were the desert generation, if we can say. Yes, but I'm sure they're much wiser than we are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try camel meat? <laughs> no. No? Come on. Um, Maybe to, to, to drink the camel milk, but to eat it? Yes. Velo, but afrit lo haya, le simchateinu, basar gmali. What do you want to say about it? אישית? הוא האח הצעיר שלי, מה זה אישית? מה זאת אומרת אישית? He asked me, what can you tell about his excellency? I said, he's my little brother. My younger brother. He's being diplomatic now. No, be an Israeli, answer. אחי. 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 אח שלי. אח שלי.
דיפלומטיית הפינג פונג שסללה בשנות ה-70 את הדרך ליחסים בין ארצות הברית לסין, הוכיחה לעולם שספורט יכול להיות גם גשר. גם השגריר אל חג'ה מאמין בזה. בתחילת החודש נערך באבו דאבי טורניר פאדל טניס ישראלי אמירתי. ואם לא ברור לכם אם זה טניס, פינג פונג או מטקות, תכף תבינו. או שלא. אנחנו פה בשביל לעשות אחדות בין השתי המדינות. פחות חשוב לנצח, יותר חשוב שכולם נהנה מהאירוע. ידידות, ידידות, עד שמגיעים למגרש. אלחג'ה גולש, רץ ורוכב אופנועים, וגם אוהב מאוד פאדל, וללמד פאדל. שאני לא אהרוס את היחסים עם האמירויות. מהספורט באבו דאבי לפוליטיקה בישראל. בזמן הקצר יחסית שהוא כאן השגריר, הוא הפך לסוג של כוכב ישראלי ויצר הרבה מאוד קשרים. ביום שבאנו לבית השגריר בהרצליה, הגיע לשם לפגישה עוד אורח. זה העולם של הצעירים, הוא גם צעיר, הוא גם נמרץ, והוא גם מבין את גודל השליחות שלו אלינו כמגשר. Do you understand already the Israeli politics? Do you understand it? I'm trying. <laughs> Danny, I'll have to be very clear here. Um, we are here to set the foundation for a relationship that will go beyond us. So whoever is in the government, um, we will be more than willing to be very cooperative and supportive. The president, uh, the two different presidents that I've, I was lucky enough to get to know, The Prime Ministers and all of the government officials, they've been extremely supportive. We do what's up each other. There were reports that the UAE signed the Abram Accord so you can get the, in exchange the F-35 fighter jets and advanced cyber weapons from the US. I don't know whether it was in any way related. I think uh, making peace and the peace we have today is the best outcome we could wish for. During the last weeks, there were a few uh, terror attacks on the Emirates by the Houthis, also one when uh, the President Herzog 
visited the Emirates. What can you say about it? About the Houthis, uh, Danny, if, if you have a checklist of what is the definition of a terrorist organization, I think the Houthis would tick them all. We at the UAE have a strong military. We are ready to deal with such threats. And we will continue developing our capacity to defend our peaceful country. Uh, we, we live in a difficult uh, neighborhood, uh, but that will never stop us at the same time from being always the voice of reason. And, uh, and, and we hope that uh, someday we will have uh, an everlasting peace in our region. ועד שהשלום הכולל יגיע למזרח התיכון, יש כבר פירות לשלום שלנו עם האמירויות. Really? Yeah. We even have a date for it. You want to book a seat? Or? Yes, please. <laughs> well, you tell me how it goes, okay, when you come back. <laughs> מאז נחתמו הסכמי אברהם, 300 אלף ישראלים ביקרו בדובאי ובאבו דאבי. הסתובבו בין גורדי השחקים, בחופים הנקיים, בקניונים המפוארים, ואחרי התמונות האלו, הרבה החליטו שהם רוצים לטעום גם קצת חול בדיונות. שנה וחצי אחרי, כבר ברור שהשלום עם האמירויות הוא שלום קצת אחר ממה שהכרנו. שרק נדע לשמור עליו. To meet each other. So do you think uh, it is a peace for uh, generations? Of course. I cannot think about it otherwise. I think if we deal with this with an open mind and heart, I think there is no barrier of what we could do together and how we could become potential friends, partners, colleagues, um, competing uh, in sports and having fun. So Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for this interview. Shalom. And salam. Toda rabah, Dani. I'm so happy to have you in my house in Abu Dhabi and now here in Herzliya. So hopefully we'll continue this. Next Thank time. you very much. The dunes in the desert. Done. Deal. <laughs> <laughs>